Hi everybody, it's Amy. Just wanted to get on today. Let's do some Bible journaling. Today we'll be doing 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 through 18. It says, Rejoice always, pray constantly, give thanks in everything, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So I'm going to go ahead and open up in prayer and then we'll get started. Dear Jesus, I just thank you for this day, dear Lord. I just thank you for the freedom to be able to worship you, dear Lord, and to pray to you, dear God. I just ask that you place in our hearts, dear Lord, um, to always rejoice in you, dear Lord, and to pray constantly to you, dear Lord, to give thanks to you in everything, dear God. For this is your will for us, dear Lord. So I just ask that you just touch our hearts in a mighty way, dear Lord. During this time as we fellowship together, dear Lord, I just ask that your presence is in, in the midst of us, dear God. Just ask that we continue to be blessed, dear Lord. And I ask that you watch over and protect each viewer that's viewing this video, dear God. I just thank you for this and I praise you for this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is draw a little girl or a little woman and feel free to draw what you want to. Now, some people like to prep their pages. In this case or in this instance, I am not going to prep my page because I don't intend to use anything that's going to bleed through my page which brings me to this i want to show you guys something um i'm not an affiliate of amazon however i love amazon i buy things from them and i happen to have a mr pen set that i bought uh, during searching for some highlighters to do in my prayer bible which i'll be sharing with you all later on uh, not today but later on and it's a uh, Mr. Pen Bible Safe Highlighters. And that's what I did when I highlighted my verse over here. And if you'll see, it does not bleed through. So I am super excited that I finally, finally, finally found a highlighter that I can use in my Bible that doesn't bleed through. I have burnt so many pages by using highlighters and it turning out to bleed through my pages. So, like I said, if you're using any uh, medium besides uh, like a crayon or something like that, go ahead and prep your page. You can do it with gesso or something to that form. I like to use um, the collage medium because I find that gesso is just ucky. So, but feel free to use what you want to if you're prepping your pages. I'm going to just make me some little designs on my little lady here. And if you journal along with me today, please share your page for us. You have an opportunity to have your page uh, placed on Pinterest also. Um, we give full credit to you as an artist. And it also is it's able to be viewed by lots of people on our Pinterest page. So I encourage you to share. Okay, I'm not gonna put eyes or anything on my little girl. I like her just plain. And then up here, I'm probably gonna do a few flowers. I may do one down here, but I have to have room to write what I want to write um, as my key statement. So I may put my flowers here and then put my writing up here. I'm not sure, made my little girl a little bit too big, but that's okay. We may have to write it in both areas. So let me get my pen here. I don't know if this one's going to write. The other day I was writing with it and I somehow bent the end of it. How I did that, who knows. But we're going to try it anyways. So 
So mine is going to say, ooh, it's kind of got a neat little look here. Prayer. Kind of looks like it's double, you know, double lines or whatever. Is. Connecting If you are new to our group, I want to be sure to welcome you and tell you thank you for joining our group. If you are not new and have been a member for a while, we want to welcome you if you're watching in and journaling with us. We hope that you're enjoying the group, making friendships and um, connecting with others and learning as you walk with Jesus, learning with us, should I say, as we walk with Jesus. There's always something to learn about our Lord and Savior as we walk with Him. Hope that you all are participating in some of our lives. If you're not, uh, I hope that you're able to go back and watch some of them. Uh, you can find those under the event area. It's located in the featured section. And um, you can watch them play back at any time you would like to they're available to watch. So if you miss something that you were interested in in watching, feel free to go back and watch it because they're available. Okay, I did prayer is connecting, communicating, and intimacy just as you are now if you want to write something else out of the scripture feel free to do so it's your page you do just exactly how you would like to do and then i always put my scripture in the on the bottom here it's first thessalonians Chapter 5, verse 16 through 18. Now, on my lady, my, uh, I'm going to use these, they're called Faber-Castell 15 uh, watercolor crayons. So I'm gonna be using them today. You can also um, use water to, you know, paint with them and they turn out really, really well. So I will go ahead and color it and then I'm gonna go back and show you what it looks like when you use water with it. These also came from Amazon, and I'll put the links uh, under the video so that you can um, find them in case you would like to order them. I encourage you to. They're super nice to use, and 
they're inexpensive. So are the uh, highlighters. Kind of, I got this other one that I journaled under here, and it's got a, a kind of a pop-up thing on it, and it's kind of not letting me press down to color with here. don't know what your weather is like in your area today, but here in Mississippi, we've got some hot, hot weather. It is just so very hot. Okay, I am going to use, I think I will do her dress. Hmm, let's do, what about red? Let's try red. Just, I guess red's not my first choice of color, but it was just calling my name this time for some reason. And you know, you don't have to be perfect with this because you're going to blend this in with some water. And it's going to turn out really neat. Don't forget that we pray daily, so if you would like prayer, please put it under the uh, prayer section or prayer banner, and so we can pray for you. It's very important to receive prayer, um, and we want to join in and pray for you. It's daily. Someone is uh, available daily for prayer and does a live prayer for everybody. Um, and they pray diligently for you behind the scenes. We have a prayer team that does that. Um, if you do not want to pre uh, post your prayer request and would like it to be more private, you can contact Lisa Butler and she can um, have that request done for you. Or you can simply just do unspoken. God knows what each situation is and what each need is and that's uh, we pray life and not um, you know we believe him to answer our prayers okay I think I'm going to do kind of a mustard colored hair here almost kind of goes with my flesh color here I don't know what I'm going to do my trim around my shirt. I don't know. Sometimes I go in la la land when I'm saying something and I'll pause for a minute and I guess everybody's thinking, what in the world is wrong with her? Just want to take a moment and tell y'all these ladies that helps with this ministry y'all if you have a moment to just tell them how special they are please do that they they are they work extremely hard don't get recognized enough by me um, for their hard work um, and it's it's such a blessing and an honor to have them in this ministry um they're they're just wonderful. They listen to God and follow His direction, and and they're um, team players. and And I just couldn't I couldn't do this without God first, and then without them um, stepping up and using their gifts that God's designed them with, and making this ministry what it is. Okay, I'm gonna step away for just a moment. Get my paint brush and my water and then we're going to start blending this in and let me show you how that works
Okay, my apologies for having to sip away. I should have had it, had it together better than that. And I may not get to put any flowers just because I didn't leave enough room to do it. Now see how pretty that blends? It is just amazing. I really, really, really like it. And all it takes is just a little dab of water. And then you just have to keep wetting your brush and going back over it. And I encourage you, if there's something in the group that's, that you would like to see done or something that, you, that we're doing that you really, really like and maybe want to see more of, let us know. We like your opinions. This group is for you all to grow closer to Jesus. And it's also an opportunity for us to get to know you and you to get to know us. And um, because, you know, life is hard and, and uh, can be cruel sometimes and we just we need each other we need each other to encourage one another and and to be blessed by each other so I encourage you to do that we're always looking for opportunities to better serve you all and to um, have things available that you enjoy doing. Um, Beverly's got a new Bible study coming soon, so I hope you all uh, be watching for that and join in. She is an amazing teacher. Um, we have Lisa, who does a fantastic job leading our prayer, and um, we have Wendy, who, if you've not joined her for her Prayer Warrior Notebook, I encourage you to do that. It is absolutely amazing. I'm still playing catch up, but let me tell you, I am somewhat kind of enjoying this prayer notebook, and I get to go back and see what she's, she's done and get to do it myself and go back and look at what she's taught us to do, and it's just an honor to um to have that to be able to go back and look at and study um, so join her on tuesdays and she is available i think it is 4 p.m eastern standard time 3 p.m central standard time but to be extra um aware that i might not have the time actually uh, accurate you can check out the featured section and there is a schedule posted um, there so you can catch all, all the times that are available for all of our lives and um, get that information so you can be sure to join her Nicole does Bible versing and it is spectacular also and i'm not just bragging uh about well i am bragging about everybody let's not say i'm not just bragging but through they're letting god allow them to to use their talents and um it gives them an opportunity to you know be able to speak to us in a way that he designed them to to work with their their talents and um, Nicole is really uh, amazing at teaching scripture. She has a whole lot of uh, information that she studies and and knows and if she doesn't know she can help you find the answer to so she's a um, really good leader for the verse mapping so join her I believe she's on Wednesdays but I'm not even going to quote what time or any of that, I'll let you check it out in the featured section on the schedule so that I don't get it confused or mixed up with somebody else's. And then Lisa is um, very talented in her crafting, so I encourage you to join her. 
uh, just for some relaxing and enjoyment. And then Donna Callaway, I won't forget her. She works really hard in the Rise Up chat. So if you haven't joined the Rise Up chat, I encourage you to do that. It's a, a place where you can connect more on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And um, she also is the director of our swaps. So that in itself is something that's fun to do and she does a really good job at it and she um, puts a lot of her time and hard work in it and all of these ladies do that. I can't stress that enough. Um, and then we have Mary Lee who will be um, doing some lives before too long. She's working on that. And then of course me, I don't get to see you guys very often. I hope that will change, but um, I do a lot of stuff behind the scenes and um, often get weighed down with that. So we're hoping that's gonna change and get better for me because I really enjoy this part of the ministry. Okay, I'm just going to outline my little girl here. And I might go back and put a little bit of, you know, maybe I got some flower stickers or something I can put on here to make it not look so plain or whatever. Um, This is an idea that I got off of Pinterest, and I wish that I could remember the person's name. Let me see if I can. Jenny Buckman. I may, I probably am pronouncing that wrong, but I want to give her credit for this beautiful uh, idea that she had. Uh, I did not use the same verse that she used. Um, and don't even remember what verse that she actually used, but this was my own verse that I picked to use um, because prayer is so beneficial to us. And we have so very much to be thankful for, even in our trials, even when there's things that are happening in our lives that we can't make sense of, we don't understand. Uh, we all have those times that we have to um, trust God and it's really hard to do that sometimes. We all walk through those um, times in our lives where we just don't understand, but that's why we uh, pray continuously and, and we give thanks to Him in everything because um, that's God's will for us. and. And he wants us to trust him and, and depend on him to uh, do what's best for us. And he does. Sometimes we don't see it um, right away. Um, but I've seen so many people give up. So don't give up. It's not, you know, it's the devil wanting to make you give up because he don't want you to believe that God is your everything and that he wants to bless you and keep you. Um, he doesn't want you to give thanks to the Lord. Okay, that's it, ladies. I hope you all enjoyed this today, and I will be seeing you around. Bye-bye. You got a charger right here.